Commissioner, thank you for joining us today on MLSsoccer.com. Good to be here, Simon. Commissioner, big day for Major League Soccer. Thierry Henry, one of the biggest names to come to MLS. What kind of impact do you think this signing is going to have, both on and off the field? You know, let me start by saying, Simon, that you know this is just another step in the evolution of the league. Uh, we developed this designated player rule in 2007. David Beckham obviously joined the league then and, and really exploded awareness and interest in Major League Soccer and showed how serious we were about uh, competing at a higher level than that which we were competing in the past. And boy, Terry Henry will take it to an even higher level. A guy that really, really has done it, succeeded at so many different levels, really loves this country, has been thinking about the United States for a long time, is going to be living in the New York area, working for and playing for a team that really has a lot of work to do to continue to break through the clutter. And we are very, very excited about it. I think Terry is going to be great on the field. And as everybody knows about him, is a great ambassador off the field. Another good moment for Major League Soccer. Have you had a chance to speak to Terry Henry personally? And what makes him different to you compared to other, other players you've you spoken to? You know, he's been over here with Barcelona a number of times over the years. And uh, he's friends with, uh, with Steve Nash. And Steve Nash is an investor in our league. And, and he and I have chatted uh, over the years. Certainly, nobody from the league was talking to him while he was under contract with Barcelona. But in the past, you know, my conversations with Terry were all about how much he loves this country how he believes that he could help grow the sport, uh, how he believes in Major League Soccer and our plan and what we're trying to do to get this country into being more and more of a soccer nation. And I think he's going to be terrific. Commissioner, for the New York Red Bulls, a $200 million stadium, another designated player. Talk about a, th a, talk about a third. The Red Bulls have shown they've, they're committed to this organization. You know what I'm going to say at the press conference later today is this is a company, an ownership group, Red Bull and Dietrich Matisic that are so committed to our league, to building soccer in America, and have done it in, in really incredible ways. I mean, building the best stadium of its size in the world, going out and building a good team, bringing in some really talented soccer executives from Europe and here in the United States to have a first-class organization, going out getting Juan Pablo Angel, building in and around Juan Pablo, going out and getting Terry and now perhaps even another player or two, I think that fans here in New York will finally get what they've been asking for for so many years, which is a well-run, very, very committed uh, ownership group and a team that is really going to try to uh, break through the clutter. I think it's going to be very exciting. Now, Commissioner, for the fans who are not familiar with, with the league setup, how does MLS make sure there's still competitive balance when you have, you know, two, three stars on a team? How do you make sure? You know, it's a, it's a process that we're still working through. You know, there's so many people that think, you know, be, have a league where the Yankees and the Red Sox can compete and lift up Major League Baseball or have um, Chelsea and Manchester United, maybe Man City and Arsenal lift the Premier League. But, you know, in MLS, we're still trying to find that right formula. The designated player rule is constructed in a way where teams have to use a lot of salary budget room. Uh, and if they have three designated players, almost a million dollars will be spent on three players, only giving them a little bit over another million dollars for the rest of their team. That's an approach that may or may not work. We'll continue to work at the designated player rule, continue to try to tweak it so that we can ensure that we could have competitive teams, that we could have this continued parity system, which we believe in, but also have the kinds of players and teams that could break through and create some excitement here and excitement around the world. Lastly, more speculation about designated players and star players linked to Major League Soccer more than in, in the history of the entire league. What, what, what do you expect? What should fans expect in terms of signings, upcoming signings? Well, you know, I hope our team is going to be smart, Simon. You know, I, I really hope that this is not uh, the opening of the floodgates, that this rule was constructed in a way where teams are going to be uh, incentivized to go out and have players that will help them on and off the field, hopefully move the needle, get more fans to come to games and also watch games on television, perhaps make their teams a bit better, but not do it in a way where it upsets the apple cart. So I think you'll see more players. We're hopeful and have had discussions with our clubs in bringing more DPs into the league, but I am very much hoping that this is the beginning of a, call it a more ramped up strategic process as opposed to something which is now going to open the floodgates. Commissioner, thank you for joining thank us you. on MLSsoccer.com.